This was question two in the September exam in the subject strategic brand management as examined by the Zambia Institute of Marketing for its postgraduate diploma program. The question was, discuss the key elements of a successful branding strategy. Discuss the key elements of a successful branding strategy. Very important at this particular point for us to take cognition of the fact that strategy is but one of the elements in the planning process. Strategy is one of the elements in the planning process. At this particular point of your studies, you possibly already know that the planning process has got steps. And these steps are number one, analysis. Number two, objectives. Number three, strategy. Number four, implementation. Number five, evaluation. And number six, control. Under the step of implementation, under the step of implementation, there are three factors to consider. There's the budget, the schedule, and the team you're going to work with. Under implementation, there are three factors to consider. The budget, the schedule, and the team you're going to work with. So in the description of this particular video, I have put a link to a presentation in which I outline the steps in the marketing planning process. I encourage you to go and watch that particular video because it would set a foundation of answering this particular question, which requires students to discuss the key elements of a successful branding strategy. And just to be clear, remember, strategy is the means to an end. It means that you already have an objective. Now you have to select an option which is going to best take you to that particular end. The end being the objective. So strategy is the means to an end. And strategy, like I said earlier, is a part of the planning process. And yes, it is a part of the planning process. Do remind yourself of the steps in the planning process. They are so important for a number of reasons, including the fact that strategy is one of the steps in the process. Now, if strategy is one of the steps in the process, you cannot separate strategy from all the other elements that make up the planning process. And that is where the answers are for this particular question. Some of the key elements in a successful branding strategy are that there must be objectives. How can you have a strategy without an objective? So you are working towards achieving a specific objective. That objective is part of a successful branding strategy. You can only say this was successful when there was a target to meet. If there's no target, then you cannot measure your success and therefore you cannot even talk about success. We are talking about successful branding strategy because there are objectives that we need to achieve. So objectives is one of the elements of a successful branding strategy. Another is communication. A brand is successful when people know about it. A brand is successful when people can recognize it. A brand is successful when people are loyal to it, among other variables. Branding is the process of management or having oversight of that particular object that you're using for distinction. It could be color. It could be sound. It could be a logo. Indeed, it could be an image. Communication. A brand is communicative in nature. What is the brand communicating? Is it communicating fun? Is it communicating seriousness? Is it communicating agility? Is it communicating strength? And are customers able to understand what you are communicating? If the answers to this particular question are yes, then we can say you have had a successful branding strategy. You have implemented a successful branding strategy. A third point that you may want to point out as a key element of a successful branding strategy is the target audience. Who do you intend to reach with your message? If it is persons that are affluent, rich people, then target the rich people. 
those outside that particular bracket may actually laugh and they may think, oh my goodness, is someone really going to spend 4,000 kwacha just on buying a jeans and a hoodie? They are outside your target market. So don't worry about them. Worry about those customers who are your intended target audience. Can they pay using MasterCard? Can they pay in whatever format that they may wish to pay? Do they have access or in other words, are your retail points accessible? Very important that you need to have in mind the target audience and you have well defined who the target audience is because a successful branding strategy must be one that reaches, encompasses the target audience. Number four, a clear message. Every brand strategy must have a clear message. What is it that you are communicating? This point is similar to number two, but there are some points of distinction. A message is that which you want to communicate. Communication by itself is much broader than that. So for example, when a business contracts an influencer, what kind of influencer is that particular business contracting? That may also be something to consider under communication, but it may not exactly be with regards to the message. So the influencer is the medium or the sender of a message. The message is different. The influencer is different. And this is very important to take note of because when you remind yourself of the communication process, the starting point is that there's a source to a message and the sender. The second point is encoding. And the third point is the message and the media. So there is a distinction between point two and point four. Communication being the broader aspect of it. A message number four being what exactly you want to communicate or what exactly you need persons to do. You may need them to buy. You may need them, for example, on the website to subscribe to your newsletter. You may need them, for example, on the mobile phone to opt into your push messaging service. You must be very clear about the message that you are putting across. And number five, brand identity. Brand identity is basically about what image you're going to use to distinguish yourself from competitors or what logo it's going to be, colors, and any other objects. Customers must be able to identify and distinguish your brand from that of competitors. So it must be clear as you work on your branding strategy of what your brand identity is. And that's how come you may ensure that you have a logo on all your communication products. If it's a billboard, your logo is there. If it is on television, your logo is there. So these are but some of the factors that you need to discuss as key elements of a successful branding strategy. They include number one, the objective, number two, communication, number three, target audience, number four, a clear message, and number five, brand identity. My name is Savoy, and I invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Captain37. The three seven is a number, Captain37. And if you need me to assist you with your studies, I invite you to reach me through that WhatsApp number and we can get chatting. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.